folks, Lynn the Leather Bag Lady here to share another uh, segment of vintage bag experience. Um, three bags I have for you today are some mixture of colors and textures and um, uh, genres, I guess, 70s. Uh, first bag, let's get right into it. Um, this bag is from the 70s. Uh, this is just an adornment. I don't really know what it is. Is it hollow? Oh, it is. Ha! You stick a pencil in there if you want. Um, it's a top handle kind of satchel. It does have a couple of uh, pockets and um, this clasp opens up like this and there's your pockets. Now it does have a strap and the strap was missing. So I have added a strap. Strap isn't leather, um, but it's as close of a match as I could get with the metals. I do try and uh, match up the metals because sometimes you can notice it and sometimes you don't. I'm I'm sure because I'm in the business, I notice it all the time. And it's absolutely stunning how many people are missing the strap. And it's absolutely stunning how many people, this is the first thing they discard, but it's the first thing they ask for. And it's the number one reason why they don't buy the bag is because there's no strap. Go figure. So, I, whenever I come across these straps, I just pick them up. And uh, that way I can include one if you have a better one um, that fits the bag a little better by all means. Um, it's, it's raw leather inside, which I just love. Just love the raw leather. So that's bag number one. Definitely 60s. Definitely, definitely, definitely 60s. Great little bag, so it um, it'll go. It'll it's it's a fairly long strap, so no uh, brand or anything for me to share with you. It, it's just it is what it is. Okay, that's bag number one. Bag number two is a really nice nice bag. This brand is Stone Ridge, which is a subsidiary of. Aldo. So Stone Ridge, you can see it just says Stone Ridge there and it has uh, the Stone Ridge. Yeah, this is 80s um, Aldo. There is a little bit of crinkling here, but it, it, it's certainly not through to the leather. Um, inside there's uh, a zippered pocket there. And I think that's it. There's nothing on the outside. The strap is kind of neat. It's a, it's a Velcro. I'm not sure what that's all about, but it's fairly lengthy. You can, uh, you can cross body it. Um, it's just a nice eighties leather pouch bag. Mm. Oh, I love the smell of leather. So it's, Another one of these, uh, what was the other one that I did? Uh, Pegabo, uh, where the back is almost longer. So it just makes it a little difficult for it to stand up. But, um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful bag. I love these 80s, um, Aldo, The Trend. Another bag that uh, I haven't, I don't think I've, I've showed you a Trend bag yet. Um, but Aldo, uh, as you know, is a Canadian manufacturer out of Montreal. They used to be the house brand for Le Chateau. Uh, back in 1980, uh, we would get all our uh, club wear from Le Chateau. And, and I actually have, uh, have some leather clothing. I have a beautiful little short uh, leather uh, suede skirt with a little flower on it from Le Chateau. I'll pull it out and I can show you that sometime soon. But that's uh, Stone Ridge. Nice, nice bag. Really nice quality leather. And last but not least is, um, I'm a, I love brown bags. Not everybody does. And I really love the, uh, the saddle stitch as well, which again, just may be back from my horse days. So this is a combination of leather and uh, suede. So this is chocolate brown suede. There are pockets on the end. 
both ends so you know you want to stick your keys I have had customers over the years ask me specifically for uh, end and pockets which you typically don't see anymore um, this is a 90s bag for sure um, nice leather base uh, hobo style what's it got inside um, a peely leather um, it's a subsidiary of Worthington Leather, which is an American-based uh, manufacturer. Nice quality. Uh, nothing, you know, nothing uh, high, high, high end, but really nicely done. Um, you know, you've got the little grommets here, and inside it does have, um, has a number of little pockets on the one side, and it has a zipper on the other side. And it does have a zipper closure with a nice little, uh, nice little hang detail. So that, uh, those are my three bags for this afternoon. Uh, hopefully, if you've seen something you like, you already know where to go. Uh, my Etsy store, I will leave that um, address in the comment section below. If you're enjoying the videos, please uh, say hello or subscribe or um, you know let let me know you're out there somehow um, I do uh, really enjoy doing the videos I, I put it off for a couple years actually and I wonder why because I, I really am having a lot of fun again don't edit them in any way um, maybe as I move forward I might get a little adventurous uh, picked up my daughter today and she's you know suggesting all kinds of things music and I'm like whoa Nelly uh, <laughs> Let's uh, just stick with what we already know at the moment, and then maybe that kind of stuff will happen in the future. But that's, uh, that's my offering for today. Hope you're having a good one. It's another hot one here in Ontario, Canada, wherever you are. I hope you're enjoying, uh, what's it they call them, the dog days of summer, and uh, looking forward to some cooler weather and comfy sweaters and tights and boots and some nice uh, suede leather bags. Uh, I've sold a, a few beautiful suede bags in the last month um, and I can just see that those customers uh, with you know beautiful chunky sweaters and their beautiful brown tan suede uh, leather bags talk to you soon have a good one bye bye